The Arizona State Sun Devils, Greg Powers. Greg had a good weekend, I would say, even though the scoreboard didn't necessarily reflect it. The, uh, the effort was there, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean obviously, the, the tie against Brown was frustrating. We, we, you know, anytime you have a lead with a minute left and, and you don't find a way to hang on and win, uh, it's frustrating, but, but the guys were fine. And, and I, you know, I didn't love our effort in, in the first 40 minutes against St. Cloud. Um, obviously, they're a really good team. That had a lot to do with it because they're just really good. But uh, the way our guys came back and played those, those the last period was uh, was awesome, and, and we were proud of them. And they left everything out in the ice, and we gave them the day off yesterday. Um, and uh, if we can put 60 minutes together like that, you know, I like our chances against anybody. Talk a little bit about the uh, effort, specifically the last 10 minutes of that game. You guys really poured it on. I think they were on their heels a little bit, weren't they? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we we, we had a lot of chances to tie it up, and and Joey really shut the door for us in the third made some big saves which is great that's a i think another stepping stone for him in the right direction as he continues to, to you know evolve in his career um it, but yeah i mean the, the guys and we we really challenged them after the second period and they came out and responded um and it was great to see the uh, last minute 39 you guys have a power play you pull your goal thunder you're really putting on the steam did you think he had a shot right there yeah we we thought for sure we you know we uh we love the, the, the energy on the bench and, and just the chances we were generating. Uh, and then, then to get a gift, to get a power play. And, and you know, I really at the opportune time to pull your goalie and go six on four. And we just couldn't couldn't get a shot through. And, and, I mean, they have a great penalty kill. I don't think they've been scored on in the last, like, 26 penalty kills. So, um, you know, we generated some chances. and, and uh, But, uh, you know, it just didn't go our way. We got Denver coming up this weekend now, which is another powerhouse for you. Tell me a little bit of what you expect this weekend, not only from your team, but what you can expect on the Pioneers. Well, if we're going to go up there and compete at all, we're going to have to play like we did the last 20 minutes. And, and if we don't, you know, it, it could be one of those games. It's one of those teams that could get away from us because they're that good. Um, I mean, they're 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 arguably the best team in the country. They're they're certainly one of the top three or four. Um, they're, they're a national championship contender, so it's going to be a great test for our guys. Uh, it, it'll be a, a manageable trip from a logistics standpoint, which is nice for us. Nice quick flight, um, which we're looking forward to. But, but it's going to be a, a great learning experience for our young program. Uh, eight of your next ten games are against opponents that are currently ranked, and by the time you get back from Ohio State, you all spent three straight weekends on the road. How do you manage that as a team, and what are you looking at on that schedule? Would you consider this a tough stretch for you guys? Yeah, it is. It's one of those deals where, where as a new program and as an independent, um, the back half of the season when you're not in a conference is pretty tough, and you just kind of have to play whoever will play you. And It's not easy to get games. It's really hard to get home games, especially in February. Um, so, you know, I mean, we, we, we have a few home series here in between the two, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll do the best we can. We're going we're gonna to change up how we kind of travel a little bit. We're going to go out on Thursday for Denver because it's an easy trip. Even the trip into Columbus is, is direct right into Columbus, so we're not going to go Wednesday. We're going to go Thursday. So we're going to try and spend more time here at home, practicing here, um, sleeping in our own beds, and, and, and uh, you know, we'll see if it works. Anthony Crossan obviously given the A uh, not too long ago, and then he goes and has five assists on Friday against Brown. What, what have you seen out of his play, and, and just kind of can you speak to how he's he's played since given that promotion? I mean, Crow's obviously, you know, you could argue he's been our most, he's certainly been our most consistent forward, um, and you could start to argue he's been our best forward. I mean, he, he generates a lot of scoring opportunities, and, um, you know, I'm proud of him. How he's evolved as a player and a leader, has been really impressive, and, and I think you know the, the best thing about him is we have him for another two years after this. Yeah, a couple of just last items to note: Ryan Belanger only three games played, I believe, this season. Um, just just not a lot of playing time for him. Is there, is there a reason why he's been out, and do you expect to see more of him on the ice going forward? I think he'll probably work his way back in. You know, he he was dealing with some personal stuff um, back. Uh, I think the week we went to Northeastern, and and we we were we were working through that with him. Um, and he's back now, and, and he's being a great teammate, a great leader, a senior. He, he's, he's really supportive of his teammates. He understands where we are as a program. It's really important for us to um, get our young guys the experience that they need for us to be successful starting next year and beyond. And so he's kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place, but he's been uh, just incredible. Um, 
and understanding of the situation, and, and, and I know he'll continue to be. And then finally, I, I understand you might not want to speak to uh, some of the details with Jordan Masters, but um, what's it like just having, in general, a guy lead the team, and what was the reaction of the guys after one of them was no longer with them? I, I mean, it was just business as usual. I mean, he, he you know, that happened before our trip out east. You know, we went 3-0, and so, I mean, it, you know, you be just judge that. Um, so, you know, I mean, we wish him all the best, and, and it is what it is. I think that's 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 only the uh, the third player, you know, that we've had, you know, leave. And, and this is going to be attrition when you're building a program, and things are going to happen, and you see it happen to every program across the country. So it's just, it's, it is what it is. We don't want to see it. We hopefully, you know, as we grow and continue to, to evolve, um, less of it happens. But um, we wish him all the best, and I'm sure he'll find a home for him. Well, hello for me, Greg. Tell me a little bit about um, how the tournament went as a whole. I know, like talking to the other coaches, they all had a great time, and it seemed like everything went well. Other than maybe the attendance wasn't where you guys were hoping for. But tell me a little bit about the wrap up of South Cup Valley. It's a tough. I mean, we we knew it was a tough weekend, um, New Year's weekend in between holidays, and so it's it's tough to draw really well. I think if you looked at all the tournaments across the country, um, you know, you don't really have them to, to draw well. You have them to get a group of teams together and, and play some good hockey and get back into the swing of things after Christmas break. And that's what we did. Um, you know, I, I thought that um, it was a great venue for us. The guys liked it. Um, you know, it's a nice, intimate setting. I thought that uh, the people of Prescott welcomed us with open arms. That was nice to see. Um, and the people there at the, the PV uh, event center did a great job putting it on for us. So, you know, we were happy. We, we won't hesitate to explore going back there in some capacity while we're waiting on our new arena. Um, and uh, we'll just kind of play that by ear. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for your time. Yep.